Hello again, uh, my name is Patricio. In this CVT, I will show you how to deploy an open virtualization format OVA files into a VMware Workstation 14. There are two methods that we can use to, to deploy this. One will be to browse the directory where we have the OVA file saved. Found the directory and then click the uh, the OVA file or we can do is go into VMware workstation and then click on file and select uh, open or, or we can select uh, that icons on screen open virtual machine navigate through the directory in my case I already have it there and the virtual machine that I want or the OVF file that I want to deploy is this one. So I will select it and then click open. Let's name this your new uh, Windows 10 machine. In my case, I will leave it as a Windows 10. Windows 10A because I already have a Windows 10. So also what we can do is we can change the location where do we want to save this new machine i would just leave it on my default directory and then i will click import the import process could take a very long time but again all this will depend on the size of the uh, ova file or also uh, the uh, speed of your host workstation. So the normal process would be anywhere from uh, 5 minutes up to 25 minutes. Uh, so be a little patient on this and once this is complete you should have all functionality of a regular Windows 10 system. In my previous video I uh, I try to explain some other related terms. Uh, one of them is, uh, of course, the OVF, and the other one, which was a VMDK, uh, and the last one was the VMX. The VMDK, which was a virtual machine disk, is a file format described to contain or container for a virtual hard disk drives to be used in the virtual machines like VirtualBox or VM workstation. Uh, the other one was uh, the VMX. Uh, the VMX file is the primary configuration file for your virtual machine. Every time we create a new virtual machine, we get a series of questions. For example, one of them could be uh, what operating system you are using, uh, how much this space do you want to allow to this machine, uh, what's the network setting? Things like that. So all the answers that you provide during this configuration are stored in the VMX files. Okay, we have successfully exported the uh, uh, open virtualization format OVF files into the uh, VMware Workstation 14. Now it's time to uh, restore or power on our new Windows 10 machine that we just import. Click Start. So the workstation is booting up. Now the workstation has booting up and it's time for logging in. Even Kim, you see, even Kim uh, joined uh, the CVT master domain. So we're going to do is type in the password from the previous workstation. And we should be able to log in and she'll have a brand new workstation. So it will take a little longer. There we go. Now we have a working Windows 10. So our workstation is up and we have a functioning new deployed uh, Windows 10 workstation.
This concludes the tutorial on how uh, to deploy a, an open virtualization format OVF file into a VMware Workstation 14. I hope this has been informative to you. If you like the video, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.